Well, well I was trying to reframe the, his, the military history of the 20th century. Uh, I think if we would include in this conversation somebody from France, somebody from Great Britain, uh, and have a discussion of the meaning, the military essence of the 20th century, they would insist that it was from beginning to end a disaster. Uh, whether you were on the winning side or the losing side, World War I and World War II were both disasters. And as a consequence of that, the other liberal democracies of the world uh, concluded that war really doesn't work. Uh, that, that, that the notion that war is an effective instrument of statecraft is an illusion. And what I was trying to argue in that little piece is that for different reasons, the United States and Israel are the two liberal democracies that reject that conclusion and continue to insist that force is an effective way to advance political purposes. They this, also, each of them, insist that they've seen military victories and great ones. Well, yes. I mean, so, and and, and part, part of the reason, I think, one of the things that sustains the illusion, both in Israel and here in the United States, is that there have been these moments of apparent victory that apparently delivered great political advantage. And I'm using the word apparent because I think that that too is an illusion.